Hey, hi, this is Catherine with the Homestead Guru. I am here with my friend Jamie. We are in northern Louisiana and she is in the process of converting a school bus. Yes. So um, you want to give us a little tour? Do you want to tell us what you're doing first sure. or do you want to walk right in? Uh, well, I'll go ahead and talk just for a second. This is a 1991 International Bluebird uh, founded on Craigslist and paid $3,000 for it, drove it over from Texas, um, and so far I've just gotten the seats out. Uh, my partner helped me, he actually did most of it. Um, maybe he'll be on the camera towards the very end, but we can go ahead and walk through. It's pretty basic right now, but I'll show you what I've got going on. All right, one thing I wanna say, I got my bus in New Hampshire and the stairs are about to rust out, so look at how beautiful her steps are as we walk through, okay? <laughs> right before it gets turned into a house. So tell us what you got going on. Okay, so it's fully gutted as far as the seats go right now. Rubber flooring, most of it has been ripped up. Still plan on doing the ceiling panels, gutting them, wall panels, that's gonna be next. Um, we can go ahead and walk through. I'm super stoked that I have two emergency hatches because one will be a skylight and the other one is going to hold an air conditioner slash heater towards the back of the bus. Walk like this way. Um, I only have one back door besides the front door, but I love it. Um, so, I have three children who are going to be living on me with the bus. And this is going to be my oldest daughter's room and she's almost 10 years old. So this will be her room back here. And then on one side, I will have my almost five-year-old. They'll have a lofted bed on this side. Storage or a reading nook or something will be underneath. I haven't decided which side's gonna have what yet. On this side over here, it will be my two and a half year old's lofted bed. And it's either gonna be storage or a cubby reading nook, whatever underneath. And because of the wheel wells, kind of got to be creative with it. So most likely, um, I'm going to box these in. And then I'm pretty sure right here is going to be the composting toilet. Mm. And I'll set that on top of that and then box this one in, frame it, insulate it, cover it. Most likely have some sort of uh, shelving for clothing or whatnot. Hang on, baby, we're going to stand up, okay? It was just showing on something. I haven't fully decided what I'm going to do with all the windows. I do know I want to cover some for the children's areas, uh, just for insulating purposes, you know, to keep it warmer, cooler, whatever it is I want. Um, but I will let them have some natural light in their bunk lofted areas. I don't want it too dark. And I will have a water trough that you can get from like a feed store for my bathtub. This side will just be right here. It'll basically be just the hallway, walkway area. And then right about here, there's going to be like a half wall. So this is the shower, bathtub. And so right on the other side of this will be kitchen sink propane cooktop. Over here will just be another walkthrough. Mm -hmm. And then right about this area, it's going to kind of be like a peninsula, not exactly an island. But I will have, it's going to come out to about right here. And that's going to be like the island peninsula type thing. And I'm going to have all my storage underneath. And then directly on the other side of that, I'm going to build a couch that lifts up and has storage. And it also, it's like slatted, so it will pull out and make it to like a full-size bed. And this will be my bedroom living area since the kids are gonna have their own private bedrooms in the back. And on this side, it will just be open for, you know, creative space, playing and whatnot. But I have an idea to build a uh, Murphy table that folds up out of the way, but when we want to have sit-down dining, 
it can fold out and then we'll have places to sit around it. Um, and yeah, like I said, I want this to be a skylight. That'd be nice. Yeah, for, so if, that way if I have things covered, the um, UV blocking uh, window film, I will still have more natural light in. Um, one of my favorite things about school buses, hang on Taj, is how much natural light comes yes. in. Huge fan of the sun, huge fan of light. Um, so yeah, that's the basic layout for the bus. It could change yeah, once I get down to it, because I've never done this before. Mine changed a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but I figured, um, I'll see what happens whenever I get down to it. I'm adaptable and I'm open to changing it. Um, yeah, but those are the plans I have so far, and it's taken me a year of looking at other people's conversions, how they did everything, why they did everything, the ages of their children, um, to really play around and find what they so. so how do people follow your journey? Instagram? On Instagram, uh, my Instagram name is Cosmic Lotus. In between there's an underscore, so it's Cosmic underscore Lotus. Uh, well, we've got a handful of pictures of the bus so far because this is the conversion so far, um, but I will have more. Yeah, so, they're coming. It's a slow journey. I'll say this in the beginning. I thought that I was going to get the bus, be working on it every single day, and you know, in a couple of months, I was going to have this conversion done. I was just so amped up. And the reality is, life, kids, work. Mm -hmm. um, it's you know, you're still busy doing everything else with your life. So it's been a slow process. And like I said, I've had the bus for about a month and a half. I know it's been under two months. But you got all the seats out already. I mean, I feel like <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is a lot of work yeah. you guys have done. Yeah. Really yeah. Hard, you guys. So I'm super stoked. Oh, I'm really God. excited about it. Um, it's a dream come true for me. Uh, yeah, it's a dream actualized. Yeah. And I Congrats. thank you. And I made it happen. Like I said, there was plenty of obstacles in my way. Plenty of people who didn't understand told me I couldn't do it, told me I was crazy, laughed at me. Plenty of people were encouraging. Plenty of people had never heard of it before. Mm -hmm. And it just kind of blew their mind. But um, I had to follow what I wanted to do, you know? And even if they couldn't see where I was going, I know where I'm going. Um, and I'm humble about it. Like I said, I've never done this before, but I feel super confident. And uh, yeah, especially as a, yeah, as a mom, have the bus for me and my children and uh, it'll help me become more debt free yes keep more of my own money that I work so hard for um, I've always been a minimalist at heart anyways and yeah so when I stumbled upon the schooly bus thing about a little over a year ago it blew my mind and I was intrigued and just gobbled up every bit of information uh, that I could find. I was like a junkie on it, just how everybody did everything and why they did it. And uh, it varies. People do it for so many different reasons. But for me, it was 33 years old. I didn't know when I would actually have the money to ever buy my own home. You know, when could I own something of my own? I was tired of renting, tired of not having anything that was mine that I could create and do whatever I wanted to with. And this was my best option. So it may not be for everybody. And I could start this journey and be living on the bus and it'd be nothing like I expected, but whatever it is. It'll be nothing like, like you expect, I promise. Whatever it is, I'm ready for it. And I'm not afraid of failure. And I think that's a huge thing too, is knowing that you're gonna just have to roll with it, be adaptable. If there's gonna be hard times, I am quite sure, um, but it's worth it to me because it's a home for me and my children. Yeah, um, yeah. That's the most important thing. Uh, and it's something I believe in. Um, yeah. I'm so excited to get our buses together. <laughs> yes, that's, yes. Yeah, I'm excited to uh, the possibility of traveling with other people or being on different campsites or that whole life. It's a dream of yes. It really is. It's okay, so we will come follow up with the homestead.guru when your bus is done. We'll check in yes. on you. Yes, yes. Okay, and then we mentioned flipping the camera on, uh, I'm flipping the camera on the cameraman so we can say hello. So this is the man who pulled out all the seats? Yes. Okay. Almost all of them by himself. He was and, working when I was not even here. And we are we are, we are, are all being pulled by the children, so thank you all. <laughs> and uh, thank you, bless you kids, for taking the time to let us do this. Jamie, I'm really happy for you. Thank you. I'm super stoked.
Facebook. Thank you for doing this and uh, helping get this out for the people who are interested. Uh, if anyone's interested in this, seriously, Google, search hashtags, research, just see how everyone else is doing it. That was really what worked for me. And um, yeah, yeah, just have an open mind, I'll tell you that. All right. And be prepared to be blown away by some of the things you see if you do start researching this. I'll say that. Awesome. Thank <laughs> you. Dreams do come true. Yeah, <laughs> Bye. Yeah.